in this video we're going to solve for the yield to maturity for a bond. We have a bond that matures in three years. The bond's face value is $1,000 and pays an 8% annual coupon interest rate. The current price of the bond is $1,045. What is the bond's yield to maturity? So here's the equation that we're ultimately trying to solve. Uh, the present value of these uh, cash flows will equal $1,045, the bond's current price. $80 is the coupon interest payment, so we get $80 a year, which is 8% of 1000 And this has three years to maturity, so we're discounting back one period, two period, three periods. And in the third period, not only do we get that $80 coupon interest payment, we get back the bond's face value of $1,000. So we need to solve for I to get the yield to maturity. I'm going to show you how to do this in Excel. So we're going to use Excel spreadsheet command uh, called rate. And these are the parameters that we're going to input into the rate command for Excel. Let me explain which, which, uh, what these mean. NPER is the total number of payments. In our example, it's going to be three. Okay, we got three years remaining, so we're going to have three more payments coming. Payment is going to be the size of each payment each period, and that's just going to be $80 in this example, the coupon interest payment. PV is going to be the bond's current price, so $1,045. FV is going to be the bond's face value, $1,000. That's what we get back at maturity. Uh, type, uh, we can put in zero or we can just leave it blank. And if we leave it blank or zero, it means the payments occur at the end of each period or at the end of each year. And if you want to change that, uh, most likely you won't. But in some cases, you might want to look at uh, if the payments are occurring at the beginning of the period, and you'd put in one for that. Uh, guess is optional. Uh, we would use that in case uh, Excel has problems converging with an answer, and you would put in some value between 0 and 1 if you have convergence problems. So in Excel, for our problem, I just put in the following. 3, again, is the number of payments. 80 is the coupon interest payment. Uh, in terms of the bond's current price, we're going to put in minus here. The idea is that as an investor, you are, you are paying out $1,045. Okay? Uh, so we put in a minus there for the present value. Uh, in the future value or the, base, uh, the, the face value of the bond is $1,000, as I mentioned before. I left the other things blank here, the type and guess. You don't have to put those in. And we get an answer of 6.31% as our yield to maturity. The 6.31% 6 6 makes sense. Uh, the bond is selling above the face value uh, because interest rates have fallen. There's an inverse relationship between bond prices and interest rates. Okay, have a good day.